Welcome to episode 58 of this Let's Play series of Dwarf Fortress. My name is Daz Tactic. Welcome to the channel. Again, a special thank you to my supporters, like whether you be Patreon supporters or whether you've bought merchandise or any other other what, myriad ways of supporting, even if you just like and subscribing, thank you. Uh, it all makes a big, big difference to me. Uh, right, let's go through and just put in the furniture. One thing I've, I actually haven't done is the traction benches uh, back and through here, so I'm just going to go and... Uh, and place those. I'll just use the closest material because we've got uh, we've got a fair few of them now. I think so. We'll just. I think we've got all of them now that have finally been built with the chains that we actually hit. No, we didn't. We got uh, eight eight done. <laughs> anyway, it's happening. It's happening. Um, right. The next thing we're going to be doing is going up the uh, up the top in through here. We have to now sort of plan how we're going to now release or get rid of the water from in here. There's a lot of water to get rid of, but at least we now know that it's it's this the small aquifer does not absorb water. It's only the, the heavy aquifer. The, so the light aquifer does not do it. The heavy aquifer does. Uh, I'm going to go down. Now, if I have a bit of a look down, let's just sort of see where we end up. Um, if I channel all this all the way down into here, uh, I can go all the way down into this location here, actually. Now, once it goes, gets to there, it's then going to fill back up. Um, so I don't particularly want it going out there. All right, so let's just let's just figure things out a little bit here. If we just go and start to plan this one, uh, if we just go back across put on the blueprint mode and just start to I'm going to do this one with a uh, with some some staircases so it's going to start here actually hmm I'll start in the middle and then I'll start no, I'll start on one end and then we'll work our way across so we'll go all the way down to the bottom we can make it all the way to there. We don't want to quite get to the bottom there. Now I'm looking across the map and just sort of see, okay, from there I can then move across. Even from there I can move across, but this is actually all aquifer. That's all aquifer as well. That there is not, and then that there is sort of not. Uh, let's start here. Let's finish off there. Now, how do we get across this other side? This again is going right into where the where the vampire is. I don't have a clean way over. Or do we go even deeper down again? Hmm, okay. It's a bit of a tricky one because I've got no easy way back through. If I go up one more layer, I then don't have access. And if I go up the next layer, then we're talking we're looking at aquifers everywhere. So I do need to do it from at least here or from here. Well, actually, I can't do there. I can divert and go another another way across and then go back in around. I, I, can, I can't really go back up. I don't really want to have constant dripping because it's just going to make the game chug along fairly slowly. Now, if I go under that, that would actually work out okay. Yeah, I could do that, actually. If I come come back up and just go across a little bit, where are we? There. If I just move across, I'm just trying to figure out where we want to come back down. Yeah, actually, I'm about I'm, I'm about in the right position here. I'm not going to be building anything else in through here anyway, so I might as well hug this. So do another up down stair there. We'll go underneath that one there. We can't go any further than that. Okay, that works. Get rid of this. This is the drain. We're just trying to f trying to get the drain working. And then all the way across. The other thing I could do would be to just hug the um, hug the area that's basically back in through here if I needed to. That way I've sort of got like a I end up with a channel below me and then just literally come out can't really come out above it as such this would all be full of water which wouldn't matter I can't make it go any, 
any higher as such, really. I mean, I, I sort of can if I if I wanted to, but this is just going to stay under, underneath the whole thing, and then come in. If I send, if I put it back out through there, it's then going to just drain. This is going to then fill right up. Um, well, it can always always be full of water, I guess. And if we then have a look at the cliff faces that come back up, this wouldn't it wouldn't hurt to actually have it uh, come back up into one of these other cliff faces over over here. Like if we sort of uh, look at this one here, for example, that's a couple above. So one, two, three, and then it's sort of then hooked on through there. Let's let's do this. And just try to figure out where we need to go. So the other one is over here somewhere. Now in terms of going up above, I can get all the way around to there. So I'll keep as much of this dry, I'll make it like a U-bend, like in a toilet. <laughs> So that's going to have to go. I can go across now. Where's the, Where does it join up? Where's my line? It's here. And really, it's just this will be where the U bend is. Maybe I can go even further around actually. Where do I go down into this one? Yeah, I can't do that. So I've got to I've got to stay on this one here. I can go down over here if I had to. That's not gonna help me that much. I will a little bit actually. No, it won't. Actually, if I come this way, actually, if I do this one, if I came across this side, how far over would that then be? And have it go up in here. That'll work, that'll work, that'll work nicely. So we'll just go and have a bit of a look around. Yep, so they're right there. So the U-bend. So we end up basically with any, everything below this, uh, essentially below this point is gonna then be, um, be underwater. Now we don't, need this anymore so I'm just going to go and delete all of that so I'm, I'm creating like a pipe that's going to then end itself going out I might just pause this and I'll then just start digging it all and um, and uh, once it's sort of done it will then sort of get everything sort of working all right look it's really intricate but let's just get it going and um, this is all in, in in our internal areas so we're going to need to sort of clean up all of this area at some point um, so I'll just wait for them to start the actual mining process. I'm going to need to get some smoothing operations happening as well. I sort of screwed this up a little bit. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to have to keep on building more and more mines. Sorry, not more more mines, more and more of these as we go through. This is going to be a... Oh, I did it the wrong way around. I just need... It's going to be a, a time-consuming process. Anyway, I'll pause again. I'm just going to place a door in around here somewhere just so that essentially I can lock them in to force them to keep on mining because uh, while we go through the aquifer it is going to be a bit painful. Um, let's go through. So the next one is now down. This is now all aquifer. Uh, I'm just going to tell them to smooth this. Like if we go back into here for example we can now see that that is actually all aquifer. So get them to smooth, get them to go back in and build again. So we just go back in and start there and just go through again. Okay. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. it shouldn't be that hard. There we are, next one down. So we've got a few of them now smoothing that one. We want to smooth this one as well. I'll make it ultimately three wide. I just want to get it started with the staircase. Just get the staircase actually fully fully done, and then um, and then we can start to do the others as well. 
<clears throat> so uh, we'll just keep on going. Yep, so that's the next one. Different things happening, that's okay. Turkeys are fighting amongst themselves. doing all this but anyway we'll get there um, actually I might, change, I might change this a little bit actually no it'll be okay where, where I've got everything going it sort of is working okay we're still in the aquifer here <laughs> it's got it's a big aquifer we've got level one there I might just get the uh, smoothing happening all the way through. I only really need to do the cardinal points, but anyway, I'll just do it this way. Anyway, I'll pause this while we go through. Right, we made it to the bottom bit uh, where there was actually like a three water now. So it's going to sort of drain along this way, but that's going to be okay because we can now just make sure that we've got everything else. This is the last of the aquifer layers. Then after that, we're sort of okay. So, um, have a bit of a look. It is it's showing water there. I might just smooth a little bit more of these. Just go down a couple of layers. That way at least we know that we've got it done. So we've got the other bits and pieces smoothed. Now what I want to do up the top here is to make sure that I get an up down stair from the very very top. Um, just because I'm going to run out of ramps and, I, and because of what the mistakes that I've made in through here anyway. So uh, everyone's coming in to help. So we'll um, just go back in. Construction, stairs. So I now need to build the stairs from here. I just need to build it down a little bit. So just build it down to say there. And uh, we've got conglomerate nearby. So we'll just do it with that. Now I don't know if I can actually do this effectively. I think I'll actually, once I've got this all done, I'll just wait until you get the whole thing established. Now it's going to cause a little bit of a problem as we go go back through. Now this will just follow me down a little bit. Oh, uh oh, Dastot. Now how did the vampire get out? Uh oh, this is not good. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Pause. <laughs> Have we got a second vampire perhaps? Um, Hang on, hang on, what's going on here? How did a vampire get out? Oh, it's gone through. It's actually come out here, jumped up. I didn't think I could do that effectively. Oh, okay, well, in that case, um, we've, got, we've got Mosul. I think it's, is it Mosul? Is that the name of the vampire that we've got? Um, okay, we'll let you get away with that one. We'll give that one to you as a like that's our own stupid fault. Um, okay, I didn't think I could actually jump that high. There you go, vampires. Um, now where are we? Where are we? Where are we? He's still wandering around with no clothes on. Yamosis, Judge Bridges. So she's just wandering around. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to tell her to go back to station. So we just tell her your orders are to um, go back up to F2. We'll just give her instructions to go back into here. And we'll now forbid this, um, we'll make this one passable so she can actually work her way through there. Now that's got to be passable as well. And 
what we'll do is we will actually make sure that there's nothing that this is locked and, and except for when we actually need to use it. Yeah, that's that's important. Okay, well, um, let's go back down and find her again and just make sure that she does follow the instructions. She won't be hungry anymore. So she's now, uh, she's now sort of gotten through a few of these things. Oh, she just killed another one on the way through. Damn it. Um, <laughs> this is not good. Come on, just go back to your work. Okay, Dwarven Child has been found. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> God, they're, they're unruly. They're unruly. Completely unruly. Okay, now we block this one off. That's forbidden. So now we keep her inside. So she's now just killed two two more people in the fortress. And we can now stop her from being on station again. God, they just, they get up to all sorts of mischief. Um, it's not good, is it? Uh, this one here will block off as well. I don't mind them going outside. Now who have we got? Fecod the, the Swords Dwarf, okay, that's now going to have to be forbidden. That's going to have to now be opened. What are you doing in here? Training session. Coming to learn from the vampire. I don't get that. I don't get why it would be in here. All right, well, she can just stay where she is now for a little while. Anyway, we'll just get her off station. And, um, yeah, Fecod's not, that's not good there. So now we've got a few other little things we now need to do. So we've got, um, yeah, these have now sort of made the, the transition down to there. They've gone underneath the vampire area. And then they're going to come back up. This is going to be the U-Bend. It's going to be full of water, essentially. It's not, not ever going to drain out of water, which is also in itself a, um, a protection that we actually have. So I'll let that one continue. Um, just make doubly sure that we've got everything that we needed to do down the bottom here. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't think that they'd be able to... So, yeah, we, the, the other one can make his way out there. Uh, that will be okay. All right. So, <laughs> God, the dwarves they just end up every, all over the place. So I will lock her into these into these specific rooms. Actually, this is now a bit of a problem. What we might do is we might make this the room that we actually then end up having. I might I might leave that that in where that is, and we'll just come back up. That way we can lock this room off in through here. We will actually just go and um, part, make that one passable. There's always little things to do, isn't there? There's just little things that don't quite work the way that you want them to. Got slate nearby, so we'll just make a, a door out of uh, like a, a flooring out of, out of slate, and then we'll just come across and we'll use this as our drop zone in through this side. So we'll um, we'll channel this one out around. And then we'll just channel down. Should see the other one coming out of here fairly soon. He's made his way out of there. So this will be our dump area, not the not the central area. Great, so we can now look straight down into this into this room. So this room we can keep locked as well. So we can forbid that one from the vampire. We can now forbid this door as well. And then the vampire, this has now been blocked off. So there's no way out for the vampire to go. And um, so I'll now open this door, make this one passable. We have already locked this one off. So it doesn't really have anywhere else it can go. So anyway, it had a little bit of a fun time back in the fortress. 
Uh, we do need to still get, get some more clothing for it. In the meantime, how are we going with this? So the U-bend has now been done. Um, I'll let this, I'll just pause this while we get all this done. Now this is going to be a bit of a weakness for a little while, but what we'll end up doing is, I think I've got some greats. I'll just, um, oh look, we'll figure it out at the time, I think. thought there we must have had a second vampire I was actually sort of thinking well that's not too bad actually because we could then end up having a, um, a couple of them so that's dot the axe dwarf so we've got we now need to have another another actually there's a few things we now need to go and do we need, now need to go and create burial chambers for both of those we need some a couple of tombs um, so we'll go and place them in here Now go and add a new member. Position number nine. Needs to be filled with somebody else. It's a competent spear dwarf there. You'll do. He may be a mercenary anyway, actually. In the meantime, we'll just go back up and watch the um, watch the interaction with the uh, with with the channel that we're building. All right, that's okay. Yeah, actually he's, he, oh, he's got what he needed. That's okay. So he's actually working away secretly. Now this will then become a vulnerability until we sort of plug it all. I'm just getting hungry, I think. It's a long way down, long way around. Oh, we've got more migrants. That's okay. I won't worry about that. Traction benches have finally been finished after all this time. God, it's been so long. Bit of bit of dirt in the bottom there. Now what I'll do is I'll just come back up the top, um, just so we can get a lot more water flowing down. I'll I'll then just change this one so we end up with um, up downstairs, back and through this side as well. And I'm then wanting Bobby then wanting to smooth everything down. So again, we'll just go in stairs. Down to the very bottom. We're going to miss out on this one over here. I'm not going to worry about the merchants at this point. I just don't need anything. Face veil. He offers it to the stable rack. Okay, so this one here is. Um, we should go and place that in amongst the uh, the, uh, the other treasures, of course. Pig. No, nope, it's not going to be there. Actually, it'll start, still be. Actually, it won't show me it's there. Veil. Here it is. Pigtail face fail. 
so we'll get that one through that side just head uh, part of headwear so that will then be placed in pride of place back in through this other side where it's all sort of under control uh, this one here we're going to um, uh, designate this one as a tomb so I will actually just designate these now if I designate them I think I'll do them as are as required so um, let's go to zoom to, to uh, tombs in through here so we need two tombs we need that one and this one so if we go across this particular tomb is going to be allocated to um, uh, what was it yep so it has grave deceased Orphan child, since we lost a fair few outside, I forgot the name of the ones that actually died. Just while they've got still got the bodies, it must be down towards the back here, I would guess. Dastot the axe dwarf, that's definitely one of them. And I can't think of what the other one was. Um, just go back up and have another look. So that was <laughs> just, just sort of. I like how it was on its way back up to its uh, station, and just thought I'll just just divert back out and uh, and do some damage. Now we know who who did it, so we're not going to bother convicting. Uh, where was it actually? It's gone. The body's gone. So it will be back upstairs in the um, in this area so we've got uh, that's Dastot and then it's uh, Locum. Locum was the other one okay so um, just go back down to F5 again I said all one tomb it is all one tomb Okay, and um, there we go, it's this one here. Right, well, a couple more kills to the vampire, but we've still got a net positive effect of everything. Um, right, in the meantime, how are we going with this? We're almost done. That's flying units in through here that's going to be the, the only real problem for us. It's quite slow, this guy. Uh, I might pop a grate through there. Just pause this now. All right, so that, that grate there has been placed. Let's now just go and place another one in here, along this halfway along this area. So just go to constructions, wall grates. About halfway. Just wait for this one. I'll just pause again. All right, this is good. Uh, so we've now got that one done. Now we've still got, like we've got the drains now sort of working through here, but they're not quite working the way that we want them to work. So there will be a little bit coming in off the side. Um, now I'll just do the uh, staircase all the way down, make it three wide, and then we'll sort of open her up a little bit. Um, so this is all going to then start to flood down pretty much from this point forward. Just go down to the bottom there. Yep, so that's going to then... Well, they'll dig all that out and then we'll dig in. And what I need, need to then do is, is just go back in and smooth this area because I don't want this one leaking. So just wait for all these to get... Um, at the moment, the draining is fine because it's now, it won't matter if it does fill up because it's going to fill up anyway. Just make sure 
make sure that that's all done. Yeah, so what we'll now do is just get the smoothing. Oh, that one's not quite done yet. Let's just wait for that one to be finished. Again, it doesn't matter if there's water dripping down these areas now. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Let's go all the way up. Just wait for those to be smoothed. The turkey hens are getting stuck into it. Actually, they're really ripping into each other. So just getting water from the aquifer itself at this point in time. And so ultimately this will then end up being, this will be the U, the U bend where it'll be essentially full of water up to this point here. Yep, so the vampire's safe. <laughs> So I've got my access point down there if I do need it, but I don't really need it. Uh, where, I, where I do need it though is to um, is to is to basically channel out all of this. Now I, I've done that one and I've done that one there. So if I get rid of all of this, it, this this little area will then just drain out. So that will be fine. Um, and that's all I need to actually have is just the stuff to then sort of go down through the through the bottom of the fortress. So let's open this up and then we should be able to then, with that one opened, we should then be able to just go and smooth this one in because again, I don't really want this leaking. So let's just go and create a, um, I'll get rid of all of this actually. It's going to come gushing out. It's, it's not going to be all that pleasant for them for a little, for a minute. While this one does what it does. Oh, yeah, one of them went down a bit further, but it's again, it won't really matter much. The water's just going to sort of uh, come cascading down the uh, down this area, which is what's happening. But they're still they're still okay. Yep, that's fine. Still got work to do. Come on, guys, you got work to do. Just do what you have to do. Yeah, we've done that one. Let's just now go and um, get rid of this one as well, and then we just smooth in all of these different areas in, in around here. Now I've already smoothed the top area in. Good. Okay, so now we can actually sort of now just deal with the um, with the water in this bottom section in a couple of different ways. Pretty much running out of time here, but we're uh, getting close now. So there's no more water now that's going to drain out anywhere through this actual drain itself. This is now filling up, and it's starting to sort of now drift down into this little area. This is now starting to fill up again. This is going to be like almost impossible for anything to get through. And then by the time we start to sort of um, pump all the water out, it's going to fill back up the the hole. But it's got a long way to go up before it becomes a real problem. And so I'm going to block off the top as well. So I'm just going to block this bit off, just to sort of so that there's nowhere else for the water to end up going. There's nothing above it. And so this ultimately will be. Will be channeling into this area. Yeah, just it will it will bank up a little bit. Um, what else have we got happening? Yep, shearing animals. It'll 
will do. So let's go. Uh, the, the one thing that we have in through here is that this one here, I can't actually get access to the pump because it's fully underwater. So I need to just have a, a pump built in here initially as well. But I will actually just go ahead and uh, block, box this in. So I'll just go back into constructions, walls. And we've got a piece of mudstone right there. So we'll get that bit done. Then we'll just end up putting another one back in around this other side. And then this, this way, this whole drain area will then be contained. Uh, and let's just start to now build the pump. And this was always going to be the plan, was to build the pump in here, just to get at least the initial bit of water into this area. So we still need to do this. So we just go back into machines and fluids, a screw pump, and we want to be uh, we want to be pumping from like from that side into the back here. We want we want to make this one into the solid block. So we've just got slate blocks that'll do. Uh, enormous Babery wood corkscrews. We had these all built right from the very very start of the game, or you know from very very early on when we were looking at this particular area. Just wait for all this to happen. All right, so this is now completely enclosed as far as the uh, drain is concerned. So the drain, it does open itself back up into there. This is the one little area that we didn't ever got, get to. We're not going to be able to get to that one easily, so I'll leave that one alone. But this will be fine once this one's done. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the Forgotten Beast Snooko has come, a huge eyeless fantail. It has a knobbly trunk and it undulates rhythmically. It says, your feathers are long and narrow, but where it's deadly dust. Yeah, where are you? It's in the, which layer? Middle layer. Okay, so it's in the mid layer. Um, now yeah, it's up high. This is agile. Huge artist fantail. Looks like it's looks like it's a flyer. Let's just follow it around a little bit and just see what actually happens with it. Yeah, it's flying, okay. And there it goes, it's just smashed. Um it's it's dust, actually in through here. No, you don't have to choke me on dust underground. <laughs> What's it actually fighting? Forgotten Beast grabs the uh, Drinian by the left toe. Actually, this thing is now seriously injured. <laughs> What's wrong with it? Uh, its right foot is cut open, its right foot is bruised, its trunk is fractured. Oh, wow. The Drinian has actually done a, a good job here of damaging it. Um... So it's not going to last very long, I don't think. This is what happens sometimes. Although, yeah, the Drinian bites the Forgotten Beast. Okay, the, the Drinian is just fighting away. They're, they're sort of like big, like almost Neanderthals, like a, a next level up of a, like a troglodyte type, type thing. Actually, where are they? Where the hell is it? So this thing's flying. I'm not sure where the Drinian actually is. See if I can find it. I'm not seeing it there anymore. Hmm, okay. Oh, there it is. It's uh, in the in the tree trunk. So it's sort of like a yeah, like an ape. Drudian seriously injured this one as well. Ability to stand has been lost and the grass has been uh, has lost as well. All right, so um, they're probably going to keep on fighting, I would guess. Actually, you know, that one's trying to get away. That one's trying to get away as well, just in the very, very top of the trees. Top of the, uh, yeah, the spore tree. Oh, there we go. A bit more dust for you. Where's the Drunian now? There it is over there. Did it fall? Stunned. Yeah, it's stunned. Coming back for more. <laughs> Coming back for more. Jeez, what's going on? Where is it? I think it's actually picking it up and then dropping it. 
That's what it looks like. I can't see the Drinian anywhere. Oh, there it is. It's down this little pit now, seriously injured. And it disappeared. Okay, we can't see it anymore. Anyway, bit of a fun diversion. Not that we don't have any we don't have any problems with that because it's uh, we're not connected to that particular location anymore. Uh, now back down into where we're trying to work. Let's just go and have a bit of a look and see how we're going. So this has now been constructed. So now what we need to do is we just need to drain this off. Now I could I could mine into there, but I think I'll just um, just start this pump manually. This will then push the water back out. The Drinian's still going. Anyway, one of the two will, will end up dying. I'm guessing it'll be the Drinian. So we now push the water out from in here. This then allows us to then go and start the pump here. Now we don't really need the other pump being done. What I might just do is, um, is just go and dig this out. And we'll just smooth these walls. That way, that way there won't be any any um, anything really sort of coming through from in here. Just now pumping out the water from in this side, and we now just smooth out these. So that's now pumping away, and. Um, Oh, this is actually now, this is also something that probably, we do actually have a upward slope there. So I think I'll actually just go in and actually smooth out this as well. Just so we've got a, like a fully contained area that doesn't actually leak water. That's, this will then allow us to use this a lot. smooth all that before we release this this uh, floodgate all right so now all of this is out but there's two layers of uh, of water that go from there up to there and so this is going to get drained drowned out so we're not going to be able to pump effectively there so I'm just going to go and tell them to stop the, with the pump uh, that way they'll get out of there then we'll have to release the floodgate that's down back down through this side so just go to f5 and that's floodgates Ramp entry, release gate, drop trigger, drop gate. Not sure if that's the one. Let's have a look and see if that's the actual linked buildings. Where does that one go? No, that's not the right one. Okay, so we'll just go to F5. There must be another floodgate somewhere. It's the tree floodgate. That's not the one either. Oh, drown. This is the area. Drown retractable, drown floodgate. This will be the one. So if we show the linked buildings, we'll go to it. That's exactly the one. So F5. Pull the lever, do it now. This will then open up the floodgate. Just wait for this one to come back in. Now just go back down again. Shift F1. And so just in the in the back end through here. That will then raise. Now the water will now fill in into this area. And it will then channel in and then up as this drains in. Strange, actually, do floodgates? Maybe floodgates actually stop what the um, stop the process. It looks like it is actually. That's interesting. In that case, we'll start the pump up manually again, and we just we can stop this one now. Oh, hang on, that's what's happening. This one is actually pumping away. If I Stop this one as well. It should fill up. I just want to make doubly sure that that's the case. No, it's not. Well, in that case, it must be the flood. The floodgate must be somehow stopping it from, um, like, it's you know resetting it almost like it's on the diagonal somewhere. Well, I wasn't sure about that. I should check that one up.
So we'll just start draining all the, all the water out. Yeah, it's just a small amount has just gone into that one little area where the floodgate actually was. There we are. Now we'll see it drain very, very quickly. This is what I thought was going to happen the whole time, actually. And now we're even draining out this bottom layer. Now, as long as we've got somebody doing that, we don't have to worry too much about anything really sort of happening in through here. That's all... It's all being drained off. It's just got to drain as much as into here as possible. It'll take a bit of time, unfortunately. I probably should actually have multiple channels coming in. I think that's something that we might look at doing actually when we're um, yeah, this is quite small, but it's it's just the, the amount of flow that's coming through. It just can't quite get enough in. So I will actually do this. I'll just go and dig this way. And while we're here as well, we'll just dig that way as well. Because uh, even though there's a lot of water in there, we can the pump will just keep it relatively smooth. Keep us getting interrupted with the uh, with the water. Yeah, the water's pushing them back a little bit. They're uncomfortable with it. I should really pause. <laughs> <laughs> just um, because as I've gone well over time yet again. Yeah, I'm just going to smooth these. And I'll smooth those as well. It is slowly draining, but once we open these up as well, it's then going to be a, a lot more. We're going to have different channels coming in the whole time. Now, I still need to block these off with other floodgates, so there's another piece of rock. We're going to get this happening a bit as well. The rocks with the... Yeah, see how everything's just being sucked in? <laughs> That's what happens. And I will actually now... It's at level 3, which is okay for the dwarves. They can sort of... They don't like working in level 3, but it's good enough. I'll open that one up. Anyway, I'll pause again. I'll be building two more floodgates, connect them to the same same area, ultimately. Yeah, look at there. They're going, everyone's going in now to pick up stuff. In one sense, this is now fairly safe. I just had a look. There's a steel mail shirt. This is a steel mail shirt. It's sized for the demons of massive steel. So this is from the demons that uh, that fell into the pit and died. So we're just dropping a little bit as we go. Just make doubly sure. Yeah, that's okay. There we go. That one's done. Uh, wait for this one to be built. That's coming now. Unfortunately, this is going to now clog the uh, clog the the works of this one. Oh, there's heaps of it clogged in there. When this one gets built, what I might do is um, we've still got a bit for them to pick up. There's a lot of stuff that's now come back this way. What have you got? You're calling, calling the floodgate. Now, what I'd really like to do here would be to um, actually dump all of this stuff. I think what I might do is just create like a, a small dump area. Now, I need to keep this one pumping. Um, look, I'll leave it. I'll leave it for now. I'll just leave it for now. 
but that's good at least we've been able to clear this one out so i'll leave this episode where it is guys so thanks for watching um i'll tweak all this stuff i'll just go down to f5 this is the drowned floodgate so we just need to go and uh link levers shift f1 just go down do it now yeah, link lever and do that one as well Okay, so that's the uh, the two the two buildings will now be sort of allocated across. But you guys, there's a lot of conglomerate back in the, around here where it's all sort of drained in, and we need to uh, we need to actually make sure that we get rid of all of this. So I probably will have to go and dump it all. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's now we've we've rescued a lot of things from in here. Wouldn't mind dumping all this anyway. I'll probably just do that without recording it. So um, I think we're getting towards the end. I probably will finish it round episode like in a couple of episodes we might just do one more where we sort of just cover things that i haven't really covered uh, um, enough of and then maybe just do one final big wrap up uh for episode 60 this is episode 58 yeah 59 coming after this one and then 60 to finish it all off <laughs> that'll be the plan anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you next time